Hello everyone. A couple of weeks ago, that is on 29th of August, we all read about uh, Reliance Industries acquiring all the entire retail business and wholesale business of Future Group, better known as Big Bazaar Stores. Okay, so uh, since then there has been a lot of confusion in the market. Many of the investors have been trading in uh, those six uh, Future Group companies. Uh, with expectation of gaining big time when this deal happens, when this deal actually uh, closes. Okay, so but the share prices initially they started running up, and then there has been a, a haywire movement in those share prices. Some of them are gaining, some of them are going down. So people are again very much confused about which one to buy, which one to actually invest in, so that they can benefit the most from this Reliance uh, and Future Group deal. Okay, so in this video, I'll be discussing those points. Uh, some first, I'll be sharing some important details of the deal, and then I'll be sharing my analysis on which of the future group stocks make the best uh, sense to buy right now. Okay, so all this is based on the information that has been announced on 29th of August and the share prices of uh, yesterday, that is of. 11th of September's closing share prices have been considered for all my calculations. So let's start. First, some basics of the deal between Reliance Industries and the Future Group. Uh, so it has been distributed into three parts basically. The first part involves consolidation of all the Future Group businesses. Okay, currently we have six different Future Group companies listed on the stock exchanges. Apart from that, there are few unlisted companies as well. So various operations are distributed between these companies. So first thing that will happen is all these businesses will get consolidated in one single entity, one single company. The company that has been chosen for this consolidation is Future Enterprises Limited. <clears throat> okay, so the remaining five listed companies, Future Enterprises Limited is also a listed company, but the other five listed companies will merge into Future Enterprises Limited. Okay, they have already announced a swap ratio where shareholders of those five listed future group companies will be allotted shares of future enterprises limited based on a particular ratio which was again based on certain external valuation valuers okay reports so that will happen secondly the most important part is the actual business transaction where once all this consolidation happens all the retail wholesale warehousing and logistic operations of the future group will be sold to two entities from the reliance retail group okay so these are subsidiaries of reliance industries as of now and reliance retails two entities will be acquiring all these operations from the future group at a predetermined price of 24713 crores Okay, that is a pretty big, big sum, but out of this 24,713 crores, Future Enterprises Limited okay, is expected to receive a cash amount or a capital of 5,650 crores upfront. Remaining portion of the deal that is around 19,000 crores will be actually because of transfer of debt or transfer of loan book uh, loan from Future Enterprises to Reliance Retail. So in, in effect, they will be receiving like 24,713 crores in this deal. Uh, loan it itself, the burden itself will go away. Okay, so Future Enterprises maybe will become a net or a completely debt free company very soon after this deal materializes. The third part of the deal is uh, Reliance Industries will be investing additional capital in Future Enterprises Limited for a stake in the company. So the pre-decided uh, amounts and the prices and the quantity is like this. First transaction will be for 1200 crores in that preferential issue of shares will happen of approximately 68 crore shares of Future Enterprises Limited at a price of 17.65 per share. Okay, so that that's amounts to almost 1200 crores and uh, the second part of the transaction is issue of warrants, conv convertible warrants 
uh, to Reliance Industries. Out of that, 25% uh, of the amount will be paid upfront by Reliance, which is 400 crores. That is for an issue of 90.65 crore warrants. Again, they'll be convertible into equal number of shares, that is 90.65 crore shares of uh, Future Enterprises Limited at the same price of 17.65 per share. And this conversion can be happen anytime within the next 18 months upon the balance payment, uh, balance 75% amount payment, which uh, totals up to 1200 crores. Okay, so once both these uh, preferential issue as well as the warrant conversion happens, Reliance Industries is expected to have a 13.1% stake in Future Enterprises Limited. Okay, so the total amount of uh, investment in this uh, for this 13.1% stake is around 2000. Uh, 600 crores sorry 2800 crores okay so this is apart from the 24,713 crores that they are paying for the acquisition of business retail wholesale and warehousing and logistic business of future group okay so the total entire deal size goes close to, um, goes a little over 27,000 crores okay now let's go to the next important part. Uh, now what happens to all these individual companies, individual five listed companies that are, will be merging into Future Enterprises Limited. Now they will be trading on the stock exchanges for another few days until all these uh, regulatory approvals and uh, various government departments approve these this uh, transaction. So until then they will trade and uh, until then maybe the prices will get adjusted towards the swap ratio over a period of time. So as as far as we know that the swap ratio uh, is already announced and the, we already know the price of uh, future enterprises limited share price on the market which again uh, fluctuates uh, on a daily basis. But based on those numbers I have done some calculations to arrive at uh, figures which can guide us to which one of these five companies will make the most sense to invest in right now okay, for the short term gain. A potential gain of uh, quite a hefty percentage in the very short term. So first company in the list is uh, Future Retail. This is the largest amongst uh, all those uh, future group companies that are will, that will be merged in Future Enterprises. Uh, remember for the calculations that I'm, I'll be sharing just now, the price uh, share prices are for Friday closing. The Friday's closing price for Future Enterprises, which is very important, is 15.30. Okay, so based on those figures, I have uh, calculated all these numbers. So let's start with Future Retail. Uh, out of the total shares for Future Retail, every shareholder will be receiving uh, 101 shares of future enterprises for 10 shares of future re retail that he holds. Okay, so the current price of future retail is 106.4 rupees per share. And based on this swap ratio of 10 is to 101, the break even price, that is the effective price for every share of future retail, should be 154.5. Okay, so the, if you compare the current price to this break even price, the potential upside from 106 to 154 is close to 45%. Pretty good, isn't it? 45% potential upside. But remember, this is based on yesterday's cl closing price for future enterprises limited as well, which itself can go up or go down depending on market forces. Uh, the next company in the list is Future Lifestyle Fashions Limited and uh, this share price also is currently trading close to 106 or 107 level. The swap ratio announced is for every 10 shares of uh, Future Lifestyle Fashions Limited, a shareholder will be receiving 116 shares of Future Enterprises Limited. So based on this swap ratio, the uh, break-even pr price for uh, Future Lifestyle Fashions Limited is 177 rupees okay slightly higher than that so this provides even bigger potential upside compared to future retail so the potential upside in this uh, future lifestyle fashions is almost 66 percent much even uh, more attractive now let's uh, look at the next three companies 
next one is future consumer limited okay so the current share price of this company is 10.35 the swap ratio is for every 10 shares of future consumer a shareholder will be receiving nine shares of future enterprises and the break-even price based on this swap ratio is 13.77 as of now and this provides a potential upside of 33 percent between the current share price of future consumer and the break even price based on the swap ratio okay so this this 33 percent is also fairly attractive but slightly lower than uh, the other companies that we have seen so far the next company in the list is future supply chain solutions limited uh, its share price currently is 123 rupees and uh, the swap ratio announced is for every 10 shares of future supply chain solutions a shareholder will be receiving 131 shares of future enterprises but the break even price based on this swap ratio is little over 200 rupees a share which provides a potential upside of 62 percent from the current price of 123 okay so this is probably the second most attractive stock to buy in the future uh, group com uh, companies right now and the final uh, last company is future market networks limited the current share price is 24.35 uh, the swap ratio is for every 10 shares of future market networks a shareholder will receive 18 shares of future enterprises limited the break even price works out to li little over 27 and a half rupees a share which is a potential upside of just 13% so this is the least attractive stock to buy in the uh, all these five uh, future group companies that will be merging into future enterprises now let's look at uh, it in a summary form so all these five companies that will be merging into future enterprises limited i have listed in this uh, table here remember yesterday's closing price for future enterprises limited is 15.30 so uh, i have based these calculations on that price okay so remember that always uh, now let's just quickly uh, have a look at the summary the most attractive stock as I have mentioned is future lifestyle fashions limited from a current price of 107 it can go up to a potential break even price is 177 so the upside potential is 66 percent the next is future supply chain solutions from the current price of 123 it has a potential upside of 62.5 percent and the next is future retail from 106 rupees it can go up to the break even price of 154 providing a upside of 45 percent and the next one is future consumer from 10.35 rupees its break even price works out to 13.77 a potential of 33 uh, percent up move and the least attractive is future market networks from a price of 24.35 its uh, break even price is just 13 percent higher at 27 and a half rupees a share okay so this is a summary you can save this uh, slide if you want finally important points to note okay so to calculate the upside potential as i have been repeatedly saying that i have considered yesterday's closing price okay that is 11th of september's closing prices of all these future group stocks including that of future enterprises limited okay so the swap ratios were announced on 29th of august so i have considered those swap ratio figures for these calculations and the price of future enterprises limited yesterday was 15.30 per share now if this price goes down okay if the price of future enterprises limited goes down then the potential upside will shrink okay it will drop as well but at the same time if this price goes up then the potential upside will also expand or it will go higher now remember this one important very uh, very important point that reliance industries will be allotted uh, shares on a preferential basis at a higher price than the current market price okay so reliance industries will be issued shares at 17.65 per share even the warrants that they will be issued at will be converted at the same price within the next 18 months so you may consider that as a upper limit or a benchmark to the price of future enterprises limited it could trade anywhere between let's say 12 rupees to 17 and a half rupees over the next uh, few weeks or maybe few months as well 
so based on yesterday's price i have given all this shared all these calculations with you but uh, there is a possibility that the share price could go down or go up depending on market forces um, then what happens to future enterprises after all this deal is concluded the entire sale happens the all the investment fresh investment fresh issue of shares everything happens what happens to future enterprises how do does it business uh, progress what businesses do does it uh, is left with after the sale of retail and wholesale and warehousing and logistic businesses so i'll talk about all these things in another video Finally, if you find this uh, information that I have shared uh, in this video useful, then please do like and share it with your friends who also trade in the stock market and are looking for short term gains in, from uh, investing in future group stocks. And I have been sharing many such analysis from base, uh, based on my uh, understanding of different businesses, numbers and most of my videos are for long term investment so please do have a look at that if you subscribe to my channel you will be able to uh, get a notification of all these videos in your inbox as and when i release them thank you